Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my Blender tutorials. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a similar effect to what you see here using halos. It goes by various different names, light rays, sun rays, god rays. It's basically a simulation of light passing through kind of a dusty environment. It's extremely simple, so let's get started. I'm going to start from scratch by opening up a new blend, deleting the default cube, selecting the lamp, and clearing the location and the rotation by pressing Alt-R and Alt-G. Do the same for the camera. Rotate the camera on the x-axis by pressing R, X, and then typing in 90. And then I'm just going to drag the camera back some. Now select the lamp. This is where the actual halo comes in. Go into your object data, which is the little lamp icon. Change your point to a spot. This will only work with a spot type. And change your shadow from ray shadow to buffer shadow. Again, this will only work with buffer shadow also. Leave the buffer type. If you want the shadows higher quality, you can increase the sample buffer size, samples, adjust the softness, bias, and all that. But I'm going to leave those at default because we're not going to be seeing the shadow in this render. To enable the halo, simply check the checkbox and increase the steps to 1 through 12. 1's the highest quality, 12's the worst quality. 1 takes longer to render, and obviously 12 is shorter to render. A few things you want to keep in mind is clipping start and clip end, which is where the shadow and the halo effect will start and when it will end. You can see a visualization of that, the little dot on this middle line and the dot on the end of the middle line. Also, you have to keep in mind the distance, the size of the spot shape. I'm just going to change my size to 35 for this. I'm not going to worry about the blend. Rotate it negative 90 degrees. In the same fashion we rotated the camera, except this time I press the minus symbol before I type 90. Move it along the y-axis. That looks all right. Now to get a plane that has text on it, add a plane, scale it up in edit mode about six times, rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to go in my camera view. I'm going to also adjust my focal length to 18. Now that we've done that, I have to resize the plane. That's a simple fix. Now to get the actual text there, add a text by pressing Shift A and selecting text. Rotate this 90 degrees also on the X axis. And go into your text options, extrude the text as long as it goes through both sides of the plane. Center it. You can also adjust the font options, but I'm going to leave it at default. Now edit the text to say what you like because you can't change this after you've done this. You can also make a duplicate of the text and the plane, so you can do this again if you want the text to be different. I'm going to type in light, like was shown in the example. Once you've got your text finished, press Alt-C while selecting the text, and select Mesh from Curve. Select your plane, go into your Modifiers tab, add a modifier, Boolean. Change the operation to Difference, and the object, select Text. Press Apply. Select the text and just delete it. This is an optional step. As you can see, it's created some vertices. I'm just going to delete these. Now we've got the outline of our text so the light can shine through it. If we go into our camera view and render this out, actually before we render it, just so the effect is more visible, I'm going to go into my render options and in shading uncheck color management and then let's see what this looks like. As you can see we've got a nice effect. It's not perfect but with some tweaking you can add a lot to an image. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did please leave a rating. That helps my channel out a lot. I'll see you next time. Peace out.